Uh, Jack, you know, you brought up uh, Made in China 2025, and, and this is why the Micron story is so compelling. Let's not forget that a, chi a state company in China wanted to buy Micron three years ago. They offered $23 billion. China, Micron didn't want to do the deal, and they also said CFIUS wouldn't allow it. Since then, there have been so many instances of them stealing technology from Micron via this Taiwanese company, UMC. And so, it, it, to me, it's, it's so outlandish when, they, when you get a court ruling like this, but it also points to me, Jack, that they are determined somehow by hook or by crook, that old saying, to reach that goal of tech dominance in the world. Yeah, that's it. And I will say we have to give China some credit. For example, um, the research that they've done in solar technology has enabled uh, the generation of solar power to be down uh, the cost down by 80 percent. You know, this is something that the U.S. had the lead. We never really got jump started here. We didn't get the backing. Uh, whatever it is, China took that ball, ran with it. And for that reason, you know, they're now the leading uh, provider of solar panels to the world. So I do think that it's, uh, you know, a, a threat and one that, you know, some uh, China rightfully has. Another, though, uh, of course, as, I, as we've all said, you know, the foundations of which are built on, on theft.